I have companies contacting me all the time asking the same question. What they want to know is how can I get my product like clothes or an object or whatever and stay consistent with Stable Fusion. Let's say they have a shirt with a logo that they want to have on multiple people, on a lot of product photos, whatever. And I tell them, well, we're not quite there yet, but you can get, you know, part of the way if you create models, if you make some LoRas and, you know, with some clever post processing. But there hasn't really been a fully automated way to do that yet. I just said, yet. Let's check this out. Oh, and what do you call a paper airplane that doesn't fly? Stationary. AI. So Amazon Science Department got something special going on here. You can see here that you have these uh, clothing options here that are they're kind of, I want to say photoshopped onto this person, but they aren't. They are diffused onto this character. And as you can see, they are keeping, you know, the shape and the, the size and whatever. Like all these intricate patterns. It's very, let's check. Okay, so this graphic here didn't go well perfect, but still, you know, okay-ish. If you look at this, Vans, not fantastic. But however, the colors are there. So that's like the main part for now. For This is still a research thing. Uh, let's see if we can get some more of those patterns. Oh, like this. This intricate pattern here worked fairly well, I would say. It's not 100%, but it's uh, very close. And the little parts down here are actually, well, there as well. Let's look at this one. So we have some flowers going on here. Let's see if we can handle that. And two, well, actually multiple stripes, but uh, let's count them as two stripes here. See what happens. We got the flowers, I would say, fairly good. That it didn't do the two stripe part. It did one of them. But um, just from a research perspective, I think this is much better than what is available out there currently. So I would say this is... Um, making fantastic progress so they basically it's an in paint and they have a, well i would assume it's a separate model that uh, is trained to understand these intricate patterns much much better than the us usual models so the examples here keep going and well it's i would say it works fairly well it, i mean it doesn't work in a sense that you can actually use this for your own product photos right now uh, because there are some discrepancies look but looking at oh, this one was actually look at this the furniture i would say it's much better than um, the clothing just looking at this couch here, the legs look correct and the sofa looks correct. Now what it does, let's see, does it get the buttons? You have one, two, three, four there, one, two, uh, one, two, three, four, and probably the ones behind. Possibly, possibly, I would say it's almost there. Now the these sides are a little slimmer compared to the other one, but I mean, yeah, this is pretty good. This is pretty good indeed. So this is basically what people have been screaming about. Well, people, I would say, not you guys, but mainly companies. Well, some of you, I guess, work at a company. So some of you guys as well. See what they're doing here now. So they're changing. Okay, so the coat and then the top there or the shirt or sweater. Again, we're looking at some of the furniture. Yeah, so I mean, the in-painting part, Obviously, you, you get that that's been around for some time, but just keeping the consistency and having an input photo like this, this is uh, very interesting. And I hope that uh, we will be able to uh, use this. Now, this is Amazon. They're probably going to keep this in house and use it for themselves. But uh, let's see, only one single 2D reference image of item is needed. No need for multiple views of item. No need for 3D models. Pretty cool. Preserves fine-grained visual identity of items with high fi fidelity de details. Intelligently infers unseen angles in zero shot. Uh, six seconds for 512 by 512 on what GPU? Okay, it's an A10, 24 gigabytes. So fairly slow, which I wonder why does it take so much time? But um, yeah, no matter. User controls desired location of item in scene wearing style of clothing. 
tuck down, tuck sleeves, up, down, etc. Am I right? Works for any category of item. Exact same model works for various types of clothing, toes, pants, yada, yada. So it's the same model used for everything. They don't have different models for furniture, clothing, whatever. And it says finally here, robust against source and reference image styles. The source and the reference can be in the wild with natural background regular cell phone picture etc so that means that you don't have to have like a perfect picture with a white background or a cutout studio photo or whatever it can be you know whatever it can be me sitting here with this uh sunset ish kind of background try on diffusion it says and i had to tilt my head a little bit to see that no that's a competitor oh wait is that a thing okay i haven't heard of that try on diffusion in painting with text prompt Okay, and they say out painting with text prompt and then what do they call this then? Dream paint. Diffuse to choose. Okay, what was the example? So I didn't recognize dream paint, dream both in painting. Oh, okay, fair enough. So diffuse to choose is going to be a name. First generative AI model to solve the virtual try all problem in real time with high fidelity preservation, yada, 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 and research paper available. But can we use it? No. We cannot use it. So we don't know yet if it works as well as they're saying. There is a hugging face thingamajig where you can read and there is a PDF paper with more information. So I'm going to link that in the description below. The PDF has lots more detail about how it works. So the source and the mask, the mask is, you know, the in paint, the VA encoder. Yeah, I'm not going to dig deep into this. It's basically an in paint with a different, differently trained model. So check this out if you want more information. I just wanted this video to be a little quickie to show you this because I think it's really cool. And it's also very cool that uh, Amazon is getting into, um, into the, the fight here, so to speak. Here they have a result. Look at this. So this one, they have a t-shirt uh, or, or top whatever this is fila here and they actually get that text consistent which wasn't the case in the demo but i mean i guess uh, they probably especially this image here if my mouth doesn't say it my face definitely will i have a hard time seeing this works so probably this is cherry picked or at least fixed a little bit if it's not i'm impressed anyway Check it out. As always, have a good one. See ya.